this is Victor Apicha from Rongo University taking Bachelor of Science Communication and Journalism. I am a third year student and uh, we, are, we had elections today for the executive. The elections were delayed due to some uh, peer students rioting from the opposition. But uh, today we are grateful to the university because they gave us a chance to, they gave the chance to the students electoral college with, which are the delegates to elect their leaders. And uh, we are very excited today that uh, these people have been able to come out in good numbers. And uh, I, uh, uh, out of 22, I managed to win with uh, 14 votes and uh, I'm so grateful to the university. I'm ready to work with the school. I'm ready to work for the comrades and I'm ready to ensure that uh, we unite every comrade from all over so that we work together because we have a task ahead of us and we have the university to take care of. I want to preach peace because uh, our demo, our our positions have been uh, demonstrating here and there, but we want to plead with them that the university cannot be at standstill because of them. This is election that comes and goes, and we urge them to remain peaceful so that we continue with our normal functioning of the university. Thank you so much, and we pray for peace in our university. I want to explain what has happened in Rungu University today. Today we had a student election which is normally happening every year and we had got three candidates who were contesting for the chairmanship of the student governing council. We had three candidates and uh, out of those three candidates one won the election and another group, there was two strong candidates and another group lost to the first group that won. But soon after the election was finished, the election was peaceful, we went through and then the counting was done and now the winner was declared. Then there was another group that were not very happy. The second, the loser, one of the losers was, was not very happy. And they started to bring fracas in the counting room. Police, we had called police to come and help us uh, make sure the law and order is there. But then one of those, uh, the group of the losers started throwing stones at uh, the hall, the counting hall, and the police lobbed tear gas to scatter them. And thereafter, they kept police in running battles, and we saw the temperatures were quite high. We decided to close the university because we didn't know what would happen, especially at darkness, because we saw the temperatures were very high. So we decided Senate sat down and agreed to close the university indefinitely until uh, uh, we, we work out on uh, when the students would come back. We're telling the parents to receive their children. We have closed for the safety of those same children because we didn't know what might happen. We will be able to inform the students when, I mean the parents, when their students will be required back. So for now, it was for the good of their children that we closed the university. So are you going to work with the people who are elected? For sure we will work with the people who are elected because the students voted peacefully and el elected the leader of their choice. So as far as we are concerned, we have a, le a student leader who won the election fairly. I think those are the people now, those who have lost coming up with things which, are, which were not on the table. There was no sharp division on, on, on tribal basis, but the losers, of course, can come and say anything else.